Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Dolly Plum. <laughs> elephant! Elephant! Big! <laughs> the twins up to? They sound like a herd of elephants. They're being very noisy. Ah, oh, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. You better go up and see, Nanny. Yes, Your Majesty. Daisy, Poppy. Dolly! Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, what have you done? Turn me back at once. Hello, I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> Nanny's taking a long time. Should we have a look? You know what the twins are like. Naughty. Very naughty. I'm Dolly Plum. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> I didn't know the twins had a Nanny Plum doll. Mm, they don't. I think that is Nanny Plum. That's right. It is me. Can you please turn me back? Poor Nanny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not all this noise again. Couldn't you be a dolly for a while just to keep them quiet? No way. I have a lot of work to get on with. There's the washing and the iron. Ah! Dolly Plum, Dolly Plum. <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. Carry on, Nanny. Now what am I going to do? I won't get any work done if I stay like this. Don't worry, Nanny. I can turn you back. Oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> now the twins are crying again. I know. The elves could make a Nanny Plum doll. Elves are good at making things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> good idea, Ben. Wise old elf. Can you make a Nanny Plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly Plum. Ah! Uh, it looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> An exact copy. Ooh. Now for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now, will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My Dolly! Dolly! My Dolly! My Dolly. Dolly. <laughs> oh, dear. They want a Dolly each. Where? But we promised Nanny Plum we'd only make one. One more wouldn't <laughs> hurt. Just to keep the twins happy. <laughs> my Dolly. My Dolly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Ooh, look. It's a Nanny Plum doll. I'm Dolly Plum. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Where did you get her? She's really funny. Can I have one? Me too. Me too. Oh, we're only supposed to make one, and I've already made two. Please. 
<laughs> well, I suppose it's all right to make a few more. Thank you. Hello, I'm yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Um, it's so sweet. Ho-ho! What's this? Whatever. These are rather good. Are we making them? They're just a one-off. Uh, of ten. They seem to be rather popular. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm Hello. I'm Indeed. Perhaps we should make more. <laughs> da 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 <laughs> I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum! Careful with that, Daisy. It's the only dolly of its kind in the world. Dolly Plum. My Dolly Plum. Oh, it seems that there are two of them. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have a word with that wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Don't you Nanny Plum me. I said make only one dolly and you've made two. Uh, yes. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Yes, well, don't let it happen again. Uh, right who? <gasps> He's made loads of them. He's lots of fun. <gasps> this is outrageous. Right. Wise old elf? Wise old elf? Where are you? <laughs> Just how many of these things have you made? <gasps> There's hundreds! Uh, thousands, actually. I don't believe it! But they are very popular. Let me show you one in its gift box. Gift box? Ooh, Dolly, Dolly Plum. Plum! Daisy, Poppy, don't you even think about... Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy... Here we are. Oh, where's Nanny gone? Daisy, Poppy, turn me back at once. Hello, have you fallen off the production line? No, no, it's me. I'm not a toy. I'm Nanny Plum. Ah, let me out. Wise old elf, have you seen Nanny? She was here, but she seems to have vanished. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, did you magic Nanny into a dolly again? Dolly! Dolly! Oh, no! Nanny must be in one of these boxes. But there are thousands of them. How are we going to find her? We'll have to open up every one. Oh, we'd better get started. Help me, please. Hmm, too nice. You're my best friend. Too friendly. Oh, I thought I'd be stuck there forever. Thank you, wise old elf. Too polite. Wait! I really am the real Nanny Plum. No, no. You're a dolly. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You're just a very clever doll. I know. I made you. OK, smarty pants. If I'm just a doll, I wouldn't be able to do magic, would I? Of course not. Dollies can't do magic. Holly, wand, please. I'm going to turn you into a slug. Ha! Ah. Just you try. <laughs> OK. You are Nanny Plum. <laughs> Oof, that's better. Uh, Nanny, can you turn me back too, please? OK. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> you promised you'd only make one doll and you've made thousands. But Nanny, it's an honour to have a toy that looks like you. Oh, is it? Well, let's see how you like it. I'm a grumpy old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. If you're quite finished. Nearly. I'm a grumpy old elf. I'm, I'm a, a grumpy, grumpy old elf. elf. I'm a grumpy old elf. Now I'm finished. Oh, dear. How undignified. What are we going to do with all these? Well, Daisy and Poppy like them. Look. Elfie, Elfie. <laughs> you know, I think fairies are rather last year. This year, elf dollies will be the thing. I'm old and wise with twinkly eyes. Hmm, you are a handsome little fellow. I can see why the children like you. And you've got lots of them now. Yes, thousands. Hooray! Elves like tooting their horns. And we're elves. Oh, no! Cover your ears. <laughs> Thank you.
today's adventure starts in the little forest. The lost egg. Magic one up. Abracadabra, abracadu, magic a ball and make it blue. Hmm, maybe not blue. Red. It's a bit small. Shall I make it bigger? It's fine. Come on, let's play. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> To you, Ben. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Holly, have you magic the ball into this? No, that's not our ball. Look. <whistles> so what's this, then? It looks like an egg. I wonder where it came from. There's no trees here. Maybe it flew. Eggs don't fly, Holly. Magic eggs might fly. Hmm. Maybe it's a dragon's egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? <coughs> I think that means no. Oh. I know. We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Da da do dum da di da dum da dum da da di da 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 dum da di da di. Nanny Plum, quick! Oh goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg or a dragon's egg. Come on, we'll show you. Most interesting. An egg. Hmm. Here's the magic egg, Nanny. That's not a magic egg. Is it a dragon's egg? No, it's some sort of bird's egg. Hello. What sort of bird's egg are you? A blackbird. It's a talking egg. No. It's me, the wise old elf. Oh, hello. Good day, Mistress Plum. As I was saying, it is a blackbird's egg and there's a baby chick inside. How do you know? You can hear it tapping. Listen. Ooh, exciting. Nanny, can we look after it? You must never collect the eggs of wild birds. The place for an egg is with the mummy bird. Wise words, Mistress Plum. But the mummy bird's not here. Then we must find her. Ow, ow, ow. I know. Gaston can follow the egg's trail and find the mummy. <laughs> Clever Gaston. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. Oh! oh. I don't think the ladybird can follow the trail through water. Now we can't find the egg's mummy. So what can we do, Nanny? If the mummy were here, she would build a nest and sit on the egg to keep it warm. <laughs> Please, can I sit on it? Your bottom is too small. We need a bigger bottom. Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy. 
Can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty, if you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. You won't be long, will you? We'll be as quick as we can. We just need to build a nest. I know. Elves can pick up sticks. Fairies can pick up soft things. OK. We'll collect these sticks. We'll collect thistledown. Ooh, thistledown is very soft. There. And now, the magic words. Sticks, moss and thistledown make me a nest all cosy and round. Lovely. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. Look, there's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No. The egg is cracking on its own. The egg is hatching. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it and I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. <coughs> we need to find some worms. How? With worm charming. Like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zig, zag, zig, make it big. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> 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 
today's adventure starts at the lake. The Lost City. Today, I, Redbeard the Elf Pirate, set sail in my pirate airship. Where are you going? To the Lost City. What's that? An ancient place of great beauty. Pyramids, waterfalls, fountains, great statues of ancient gods, and treasure. Ooh! Where is it? In the jungle. Far, far from here. A long and dangerous journey. All right, off you go then. Try and be strong, my sweetheart. I will return. Ugh. Take your time. You don't want to rush the lost city. Anchors away! Good luck, Redbeard! Thank you! But a pirate doesn't need luck. I laugh in the face of danger. Farewell! Bye! Oh! Poor Gaston. He's missing Redbeard already. This is the life. I love adventures. Aha! I think I see the jungle. Lost City, here I come. Oh. What is it, Gaston? He's worried about Redbeard. Oh. Don't worry, Gaston. Redbeard would call us if he got into trouble. <coughs> Hello? I found it, Nanny Plum. The Lost City. Oh, jolly good. Only thing is, I've hit a bit of bad luck and I'm in terrible danger. I thought you laughed in the face of danger. I do, normally, but I'm trapped. The ropes from my airship are tangled up in the jungle. We'll come to your rescue, Redbeard. Yes. Don't feel you must. I can survive here. I'll eat the odd leaf and drink dewdrops to survive. Oh. I could probably last a couple of weeks that way. Unless a snake gets me first, of course. We won't let that happen. The elves are coming. Uh, and the fairies. OK, we'll do a rescue mission. Emergency! Emergency! Let's get this plane loaded for a jungle rescue. Right, ho! Jungle tent. Jungle tent. Jungle first aid kit. Jungle first aid kit. Jungle clothes. Jungle clothes. And I've brought the jungle picnic. Cheese sandwiches and lemonade for everyone. Nanny Plum, this is a rescue mission, not a picnic. So, you still need sandwiches. You'll need these. What are they? Parachutes. Parachutes? Cool. Yes. I can't land the elf plane in the jungle, so you'll be parachuting in. How will we find Redbeard in the jungle? Gaston will sniff him out. <laughs> Gaston can smell anyone from miles away. Redbeard does have a strong smell. Yes, a bit like cheesy socks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Time to go. Wind the engine. Righty ho Elf plane, ready for takeoff. Oh, we've only just got going. The jungle is on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh. Gaston can smell Redbeard. Already? <laughs> we can't be at the jungle yet. Gaston's nose is never wrong. <laughs> then it is time to jump. Everybody ready? Ready. Gaston was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. 
Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locansimum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. $4.99. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. <laughs> Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre in a pot of daffodils. Daffodils? Oh, yes! I can see you! What? I'm inside! Look through the doors! Hello! I thought you said you'd gone to the jungle. It is a jungle in here. Come and see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, I suppose we'd better rescue him anyway. Carefully now. We must not be spotted by the big people. Why won't the magic door open? It's not a magic door. You just stand in front of it and it opens. But we're too small for the door to notice us. Time for a bit of magic. Now that's what I call a magic door. Ha-ha! <laughs> Am I pleased to see you, me hearties? Don't you, me hearty me? Do you realise how much of our time you've wasted? Uh... We thought you were trapped in the jungle, not sitting in a tomato plant in a shop. But this is where the lost city is. Look! Lost city? It's a load of garden ornaments. Come, come, Nanny Plum. You have to use your imagination. It's a lost city of pyramids, waterfalls and treasure. It's a load of plastic rubbish. Well, haven't you had an adventure coming to find me? Yes, it's been fun. And that's what being an elf pirate is all about. Having fun. <laughs> Now, all you have to do is untangle me and we can get away from this dangerous jungle. Oh, this isn't a jungle and there is no danger. Whoa! Hang on! Hold tight! Hello, I'm a customer and I would like to buy this plant. Find everything you're looking for today? Yes, thank you. Do the toys come free with the plant? Uh, oh, I suppose so. One pot plant with toys. And one magic goblin. I am not magic. One talking magic goblin. Oh, no barcodes. I put it through as compost. Oh, thank you. Magic goblin? Compost? How dare she? We've got to get free. Come on, everyone into the airship. That's it. Let's go. Anchors away. <laughs> uh, hello, Mrs. Customer. Hello. Don't tell anyone you've been seeing elves and fairies. No. Oh. Up, up <laughs> and away. Ha, <laughs> ha, wise old elf. Looks like I'm rescuing you from the jungle. From the garden centre, you mean? Ah, my sweet sugar plum. I brought you a present from my adventures. A tomato? Is it a tomato? Or is it a mysterious red berry from the darkest depths of the lost city? Use your imagination. It's a tomato. Today's adventure starts... At the little castle. The elf game.
games. Ben, where are you? Oh, hi Ben. Can I play too? I'm not playing. I'm training. It looks like playing to me. Well, it's not. I'm getting ready for the elf games. That sounds fun. Can I play some elf games? The elf games are not fun. They're very serious. Now, I need to practice my lifting. Ugh, this acorn's really heavy. I can do that. Abracadabra. Easy peasy. <laughs> you used magic. We don't have magic at the elf games. Oh. So what do you have? We have jumping. Hoopla! I can do that. Hoopla! <laughs> we don't have flying either. The games are not for fairies, just for elves. That's not fair. Fairies can do lots of things without flying or magic. Like what? I can dance like a ballerina. <laughs> OK, but we don't have dancing at the elf games. Dancing's not the only thing I can do. Look, I'm good at gymnastics. And I'm really good at looking pretty. We don't have dancing, gymnastics or looking pretty at the elf games. Why not? We're elves. We have serious things, like jumping, running and... Princess Holly, time for your lessons. Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Ben's going to be in the elf games. Can we go too? Won't it be boring for you, Princess Holly? Watching a lot of sweaty little elves running about? We don't just run. We jump and we lift things. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow. If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. Hooray! You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the Elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy Princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah. Good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks. Get set, go! One, two, one, three, hooray! Come on, Fast Lee! Ben! Come on, Ben! Oh, Ben can't hear me. We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Hooray! Oh, no! Ben's come last. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. 
Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. No one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Palum. Um, hello. I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. What is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well, the rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks, get set, go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me. What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. And looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. <laughs> Baby Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Ho oh ho. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Shooting Star With this telescope, I can see deep into space. Wise old elf, can I look? Yes. Right now, the telescope is pointed at the moon. Ooh, it looks really close. Can I have a go? Of course. If I turn the telescope this way, you can see distant stars. Amazing! Oh, one of the stars is moving. Maybe it's a shooting star. Ooh, I can see it too. <gasps> it's going to crash into the ground. Wow, that sounded close. Let's take a look. This is where the shooting star landed. It's made a huge hole. Incredible. Look at all the smoke. It must be very hot. Let's climb down and get a closer look. No, we'll have to come back tomorrow when it's cooled down. <laughs> Morning time! Holly, breakfast! No time, Daddy. A shooting star crashed into the meadow last night. Morning time! Ben, don't you want your breakfast? Later, Mum. I'm off to see the shooting star. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Wow! What made that hole? A shooting star. It fell out of the sky. Excellent! So, what does this shooting star thingy look like? We're just about to find out, Your Majesty. Lower the claw! Ooh. It's got windows! Is it a spaceship? It's a flying saucer! <laughs> the top's opening! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion! Bleep! <laughs> Bloop. Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep. <laughs> it's the friendly aliens we met on the moon. Bleep, bloop, bleep. Hello, aliens. Bleep, bleep. Bloop, bloop. Bleep, bleep, bloop. Oh, look. They've got a baby alien. I am not baby. Whoops. Sorry, but you're so sweet and ickle. I am oldest one here. We get smaller as we get older. Oh, we get bigger as we get older. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zyros. Take me to your leader. Uh, King Thistle is our leader. Ah, Thistle King. So, you are leader. Well, the wise old elf is also a leader. In a way. Oh, no, Your Majesty. You are our king and leader. Yes. We come in peace. Phew. We are here on holidays. Have you come far? We come from planet Bong. Ooh. But our spaceship is crashed. Oh, dear. You, Thistle King, must fix it. Me? Yes. As leader, you are clever and wise. Uh, yes. Of course I'm clever and wise. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. It is broken. Maybe I should take a look, Your Majesty. Good idea. Elves are good at fixing flying saucers. And I'm an elf. Let's see. Does the engine use clockwork or batteries? Oh. It's so colourful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes and incredibly complicated... <gasps> I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. Mr Zyros, while you're waiting, would you like a tour of the Little Kingdom? We would very much like that. Oh, goody. This way. First stop, Gaston's Cave. Gaston, are you in? This is our friend, Gaston the Ladybird. Ah, a ladybird. So that is the sound a ladybird makes. 
what did he say? He asked if Gaston is for eating. No, we don't eat our friends. Do you? Oh, no. Hardly ever. Next on the tour, the little castle, where I live. Mummy! Hello, darling. Oh! <laughs> it's OK, Mummy. They're just aliens from Planet Bong. Oh, that's all right, then. <laughs> no, you can't eat her. Thistle King, is this where you make your important decisions? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I'm always making important decisions. Your Majesty, do you want soup or sausages for lunch? Hmm, I think sausages. You are very wise, Thistle King. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. And Elf Ben, where do you live? I live in a tree. Tree? What is tree? Here it is, the great elf tree. Ah, I see. So a tree is a kind of apartment block. I am learning much about your planet. Hello, Ben. Ah, aliens! Yes, Dad. You remember the aliens we met on the moon? They're here on holiday. Oh, yes. Those aliens. Happy holiday! <coughs> no, he is not to be eaten either. Ah, this is such a wonderful planet. Have you been to other planets on holiday? Oh, yes, but this is best. You see, we are quite small, and on most planets, everyone is big. I see. Yes, we go to other planets for lovely, relaxing holiday and get stepped on by big people. It is not nice. Uh, there are some big people here too. Big people here? Hello! Uh -huh. Big people! Don't worry, it's only our friend Lucy. She's a big girl. Lucy, these are aliens. They're here on holiday. <laughs> Hello, aliens. You are big, aren't you? Are there more like you? There's my mum and dad. We're having a picnic over there. So, there are three big people on this planet. Oh, no! There's loads. Millions and millions. Most of them bigger than me. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for end of holiday. OK. Let's go and see if your flying saucer is mended. Ah, just in time. I've mended the flying saucer. Well done, wise old elf. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing. And elves are good at plumbing. <laughs> Engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say Elf Skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, aliens. Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please. <laughs> Whee! Dear Lucy, everyone knows aliens don't exist. Hello, Lucy. Hi, Ben and Holly. The aliens have to fly back to their planet. They just wanted to say hello to your parents. Hello, big people. We have just been here on our holidays. Um, hello. We go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. I think we'll have picnics somewhere else in future. <laughs> Whee! you go on holiday, you must come to Planet Bong. OK, we will. See you soon. Bye. 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 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Nanny Plum's lesson. Holly, Violet and Strawberry, are you ready for today's fairy lesson? Yes, Nanny Plum. <laughs> today's lesson is about... Who can that be? Ah, Ben Elf. Hello, Nanny Plum. Is Holly in? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to play with elves or insects. <coughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Holly. Nanny Plum's giving us a lesson. Do you want to join in? Yes, please. Actually, it's a fairy lesson. Please, Nanny, let Ben stay. But Ben's missed the beginning. And I don't want to repeat everything I've said. But all you've said is, ahem, <coughs> today's lesson is about... Please let Ben stay. Please, Please Nanny Plum. Plum. OK. As long as Ben just sits quietly and watches. I suppose even an elf might learn something. Thanks, Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're joining us too, are you? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> now, where was I? Ahem. <clears throat> Today's lesson is about... Thank you, Strawberry. Today's lesson is about some important fairy rules. Ooh. Rule one. Fairies must look nice. Hair lovely. Clothes stylish. Skin beautifully clean. <laughs> Elves and ladybirds, of course, need not worry about such things. Rule two. Fairies should never, ever be without their wands. Who knows why? Without wands, fairies can't do magic tricks. Yes, Ben. We need wands to do magic. A fairy without her wand is like a... like a ladybird without her spots. <coughs> Nanny, Gaston's a boy ladybird. Whatever. The important thing is, fairies must look after their wands. Yes, yes Nanny Plum. Rule three. If it's windy, like today... Fairies should be careful about flying. As long as I fly low, I'll be fine. But on a day like today, no one should fly above the castle walls. It's very windy up here. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. So, what have we learned? Fairies should always look nice. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Fairies mustn't fly in strong winds. Very good. You see? Even I find it difficult when the wind is so... <laughs> oh, Nanny Plum's gone. Was that meant to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Nanny's left her wand behind. And a fairy without a wand is like a ladybird without his spots. Poor Nanny! What can we do? I've got a simple plan. We find Nanny, we rescue her, then we give Nanny her wand. But we don't know how to find her. And we don't know how to rescue her. And we're not allowed to touch Nanny Plum's wand. Then it's a good thing I'm here. I can do all those things because I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston, find Nanny Plum. Gaston will sniff her out in no time. Hooray for Gaston! There's Nanny Plum. Stage one completed. Hello! How did you find me so quickly? Gaston followed your smell. My smell? For your information, I do not smell. Nanny, we've got your wand. Holly, you know you're not allowed to touch my wand. It could be very dangerous. But we just wanted to help you. And you said a fairy should never be without her wand. So we're here to rescue you and give you back your wand. Well, that's very nice of you all, but... Stage two, the rescuing bit. 
Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. Uh, that sounds dangerous. I think I'll just wait for the wind to drop and then I'll fly down. Are you sure you don't want to be rescued, Nanny? Quite sure. This isn't quite what I had planned. But now we're all together again, let's resume the lesson. Uh, Nanny Plum, are you sure that leaf can take your weight? My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was... Even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... Woo! That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... <laughs> Nanny, are you OK? Uh, yes. At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly. So she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <coughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 <coughs> oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird. Nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Ben, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! <laughs> Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. My goodness, is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, your royalness. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! Uff! That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Uff! Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Ben, and thank you for rescuing me. Ah, oh, it's nice to have you back. Hair be lovely, clothes have style, skin beautifully clean. Nanny Plum, you look lovely and pretty again. Thank you, Strawberry. Now, children, what do you think I've learnt today? Um, what to shout when you fall out of trees and stuff? <laughs> no. I've learnt it's good to have friends around when you need them, whether they are fairies or elves. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Sorry, Gaston. 
Or ladybirds. <laughs> <laughs>